Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for taking the time to learn more about our Girls Who Code and our Free Clubs program. I'm very happy to take you through this webinar today. Please note that this webinar is intended for anyone who has not already applied to start a club and who is interested in learning more about our club's program in Canada. This webinar is not intended for you if you have already applied to start a club or if you are located outside of Canada. I'm excited to tell you more about our programs and to discuss how we can work together to help girls in your community learn computer science. Here is our agenda for this session. I will start by providing a brief overview of Girls Who Code, including our history, mission, and the problem we aim to address. I will then transition into a more in-depth discussion of our club's program. We'll end with a rundown of the process for launching a club in your community, as well as how to form a community partnership with Girls Who Code to launch multiple clubs. Over the next 20 minutes, we will cover everything you need to know about launching a Girls Who Code club in your community. Let's take a look at what the gender gap in technology looks like in Canada. In Canada, women make up 50% of the overall workforce, but less than 25% of the STEM workforce. They make up 53% of university graduates, but only 28% of graduates with degrees in STEM. In a recent survey that Girls Who Code conducted in Canada, 82% of respondents said they picture a man when they think of a computer scientist. These numbers are especially concerning because STEM-related jobs are some of the fastest growing and highest paying in the Canadian economy. We cannot leave behind the ideas and innovation of half the population, nor can we shut girls out of the economic opportunity represented by the tech sector. For example, on average, tech jobs pay over 100k per year. Gender stereotypes are still holding girls back. The gender gap in technology might sound a bit abstract, so let's see what it looks like in the workplace. On average, in a room of 25 software engineers, only three are women. We see the same trends in computer science classrooms and programs. Girls Who Code knows how important female representation is for girls to start things themselves as crucial contributors to the STEM sector. Girls Who Code also stresses building girls' bravery and resilience to help them persist in the field. Now that we've talked a bit about the gender gap in technology, we'd like to tell you a bit more about our mission. We are working to inspire, educate, and equip girls with computing skills needed to pursue 21st century jobs. Our goal is to reach gender parity in the tech sector in Canada and around the world. To accomplish this, we offer free and flexible computer science programs for girls ages 11 to 18. We are proud to have served over 185,000 girls to date, with a particular focus on reaching girls from historically underrepresented groups and marginalized communities. In the United States, Girls Who Code alumni are significantly more likely to study computer science and related fields at the post-secondary level. At our current rate of growth, we expect to close the gender gap in entry-level tech jobs in the US by 2027. With the help of our partners in Canada, we're hoping to have the same impact here. In 2012, Girls Who Code began as one club in New York City, 10,000 clubs have been launched since then. Of the 185,000 girls we have served to date, 30,000 are college-aged alumni who are majoring in computer science and related fields at a rate 15, 16 times the U.S. national average. We are reaching new audiences every day through our best-selling book series for girls of all ages and through projects like our 2019 Sisterhood campaign that celebrated the International Day of the Girl and recently won a Webby Award. Our next step is to grow our international footprint. In November 2018, Girls Who Code expanded its clubs program to Canada and has already started over 125 clubs across eight provinces. Our Canadian clubs curriculum complements homegrown initiatives and engages girls early in the pipeline with gender-specific programming at the grassroots level. It also includes Women in Technology Spotlights, 
that teach girls about Canadian women who are blazing new trails because we cannot be what we cannot see. And we're excited that our curriculum will soon be available in French. Girls Who Code Clubs are free programs in which girls join a sisterhood of supportive peers and role models and learn to use computer science to change the world. Our clubs encourage girls to impact their community in a positive way through code. Research has shown that in middle and high school, girls' interest in computer science declines dramatically at the same time that boys' interest grows. As a result, girls are unlikely to major in computer science or STEM in college or go into a career in tech. To change this trajectory, our club's program is designed to reach girls at an early age. Girls Who Code facilitators who lead our clubs come from all walks of life. No matter your background or experience with computer science, you can be an awesome facilitator and learn to code alongside your club members with the help of our comprehensive resources and support. Clubs can run before, during, or after school, on weekends, and over the summer. In a club meeting, girls engage in simple and fun online tutorials to learn about code and build community with each other through interactive activities. During each session, girls work together on a culminating Girls Who Code project, a coding project that addresses a real-world problem they care about. All of the curriculum is housed on our online curriculum platform called Girls Who Code HQ, so computers and internet connection are required to participate. Club meetings can take place for approximately one to two hours per week. Ideally, clubs meet for 10 to 15 sessions, with some meeting for a semester and others for an entire academic year. When school is out of session, clubs can run during the summer break as well. The curriculum and program model are flexible and customizable in order to meet the needs and skill level of you and your students. Girls Who Code clubs are based on three pillars related to our educational philosophy. Our curriculum revolves around the three following pillars. The first component is sisterhood. It's important that girls in clubs learn that they don't need to address issues in their community alone. That's why our clubs are designed to provide girls with a safe and supportive environment of peers and role models where they can develop essential skills like bravery and resilience. The second component is, of course, coding. While they are brainstorming, designing, and building the Girls Who Code project, club girls run key computer science concepts that form the foundation of all programming languages. Beyond hard coding skills, girls gain exposure to real-world project management and problem-solving techniques. Girls can also continue to learn year after year through more advanced tutorials based on their skill level and pace at which they individually learn. We have tutorials available in Scratch, Python, Thunkable, and JavaScript. The final component is impact. Our curriculum is designed to teach girls that they can become problem solvers in their community. Girls are able to combine their new skills and passions to create the Girls Who Code project. Now that we have covered our program model and the pillars of the clubs, Let's talk about the free curriculum and materials that Girls Who Code provides to our clubs and facilitators. Girls Who Code provides facilitators with free training, curriculum, and ongoing support to ensure that each facilitator can successfully run their club. For you to get started and begin to build your own computer science skills, we will provide you with a 15-minute virtual training that includes all the steps you need to prepare for and run your club. You'll also have access to our online curriculum platform called Girls Who Code HQ. This is where you can find all of our curriculum, tutorials, tips and strategies, resources, and more. We also provide clubs with access to comprehensive recruitment toolkits to help you build interest from new club members and facilitators, including flyers, posters, emails, social media, info session materials, and more. Our club's facilitators come from all walks of life, and they can be teachers, librarians, parents, or volunteers from any background or experience. Many facilitators do not have any computer science or coding experience, and they learn to code alongside their club members. All club's facilitators receive access to Girls Who Code HQ, which is where they can find everything they need to run a successful club. 
Girlso Code HQ is the official place for all things Girlso Code. Students and club facilitators will have access to all of our materials on HQ. Some features of Girls Who Code HQ include comprehensive and customizable club plans, diverse women in tech spotlights to choose from, self-guided coding tutorials in a number of coding languages, a facilitator toolkit with all the resources you need to get started, and an announcement page that helps you stay connected with your club girls. To see a sneak preview of the curriculum before you apply, you can create an HQ account and get access to sample agendas, sample curriculum, and more. Now, let's take a deeper dive into the club's curriculum and what a typical club session looks like. Our club's curriculum is designed to be customized to meet the needs and interests of the students in your club, but this slide provides a general sense of what a typical club session includes. Clubs often begin with an activity to build sisterhood or skills like bravery and resilience. Girls then learn about a notorious woman who has made a difference in technology. The group will then transition into learning a specific programming language through our self-guided tutorials or work on their Girls Who Code project. Clubs typically culminate with stand-ups where girls share their progress with the rest of the group. These stand-ups are a great opportunity for girls to discuss their progress on their Girls Who Code project. Each Girls Who Code club creates a group Girls Who Code project that is typically a website that in some way addresses an issue that is important to them. Through these projects, girls learn to use computer science to change the world. I would like to tell you more about just two of the incredible projects that our girls have developed. Our club girls have been incredibly creative and talented as they think critically about how to impact the community. Water Well is one girls who code project created by girls who are passionate about water conservation. They created a website to track and analyze daily water usage patterns and provide users with simple steps they can take to reduce their water usage. Pillar is another project created by girls who are passionate about mental health. The girls proposed an app for teenagers and adults to have a supportive and anonymous community and get personalized advice from real people. In your own club, students have the ability to brainstorm ideas just like these and pick something as a group that matters to them. This is all made possible by the club facilitator and we're here to support you as you empower girls in your community to make a difference. Whether you are new to computer science or have experience coding, Girls Who Code will support you with every aspect of your club, from curriculum to training and support. We not only provide each club facilitator with hundreds of hours of curriculum to run each club session, but also match each facilitator with a club success specialist, a Girls Who Code staff member who is available to provide additional support throughout the year. Beyond the comprehensive training, curriculum, and resources that are available to facilitators on HQ, each facilitator is matched with a Girls Who Code Club Success Specialist. Club Success Specialists are curriculum and program experts who proactively support facilitators in delivering high-quality programming to the girls in their clubs. Your Club Success Specialist will reach out to you before your club launches to support you with any aspect of your club's experience including student recruitment and registration, prepping for club meetings, setting up your Girls Who Code project, completing tutorials, and locating resources on Girls Who Code HQ. You can get in touch with your club success specialist via phone, via text, WhatsApp, and even video conference. Now, let's talk about how you can start a club in your community. Launching a Girls Who Code club is super easy. In order to start a club, you need a space in a nonprofit, including schools, libraries, universities, to host the club. You'll need the space for one to two hours per week. You also need computers and internet connection for each student and an adult 18 years or older to serve as the facilitator to lead the club. Once again, you do not need any computer science or technical experience. Girls Code will provide you with the activities and ongoing support to guide you and your club through each meeting. Once you have identified a space with computers and internet, as well as a facilitator, you're ready to apply to start a club. Please note that to complete the application, 
you must be employed by the host site or physical location where the club will take place. We refer to the person who completes the application as the decision maker. The applicant or decision maker can also serve as a facilitator and can choose to add additional facilitators to their club. Any additional facilitators do not need to be employed by the host site. Gelso Code supports individual clubs as well as organizations that intend to start multiple clubs in the community, which we refer to as community partners. Our organization relies on collaboration with community partners to reach girls across the country. If you are interested in launching multiple clubs within your network to support more girls in your community, your organization would be eligible to become an official community partner. Based on thoughtful conversation with your organization, we can develop a partnership to enhance the Girls Who Code Club experience through exciting partnership benefits. This slide includes just a few of our incredible community partners across Canada who have committed to launching multiple clubs in their communities. Our community partnerships come with a number of benefits, including individualized support from a dedicated staff member who will provide your organization with ongoing support, full access to the club's curriculum on Girls Who Code HQ, monthly updates and a partnership dashboard with details on all affiliated clubs, and recognition as a community partner in a Girls Who Code press release or on the Girls Who Code website. Now let's talk about how you can either form a community partnership to launch multiple clubs or start an individual club. It's easy to launch Girls Who Code clubs in your community. To start an individual club, follow the steps including on this slide. Please note that our application only takes 10 minutes to complete. After completing the application, we will follow up with you with the next steps. To form a community partnership with Girls Who Code, please complete our community partnership confirmation form or send me an email at international at girlswhocode.com and we can find time for a follow-up conversation. Thank you all so much for taking the time to join us for this presentation. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I hope that you will join our movement to address the gender gap in technology and provide girls in your community the skills they need for the jobs of the future.